I have to make a conscious decision to remember where I put my coffee because I'm always laying my coffee cup down somewhere and it takes me three days to find it. So, it's time. We're gonna have the camera installed on our adventure mobile today by professionals or what we hope are professionals. It's raining again. I need to uh, unwinterize it and fill the tanks. Need to run some of the rust out of this water before I put it in my tanks. It's the first startup of the year. Got to put in the, what do they call this? The anoid rod? I got a little wire. Uh, round wire brush that I'm, I brush out the threads of the hot water heater with before I put the anoid rod in. Just gives it a better seal, I think. Gets out all of that uh, tape. Want to make sure the water comes out because I winterized it and I first time I winterized it and I don't know. I want to make sure the hot water heater is bypass is turned correctly so water starts coming out of here. Give it a little rinse out. Okay, water tanks are filled. And I'm bleeding the gas lines now. Unwinterizing. She's ready. We, we haven't decided when we're going or how often we're going to go, but we're going to go. And uh, ain't she a beauty? One day she'll be paid for too. Hopefully in my lifetime. <laughs> Anyway, for those of you that don't know, this is a 2005 Chevy Kodiak C4500. It's got a 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel in it. It's got about 110,000 miles on it. And on the back of it, it's a flatbed dually. And on the back of it, it has an Arctic Fox. I'm pretty sure it's a 2013 990 truck camper and it's custom fitted to a flatbed and I have an extension for it here in case I want to pull a boat or maybe an ATV or something uh, senior citizens you know they accumulate old stuff so I got like a 2004 ATV and old ass trailer that I might pull and go off-roading or something somewhere. In fact, I'm certain I'm going to do that. I'm positive I'm going to do that this year. You know, just go slow. 
anyway she's underwinterized the only thing that really doesn't work on it that i can tell thus far thus far is the the lp of the refrigerator it just it won't start up so while i have it in today I'll ask them about it. I doubt they'll do anything for me because you got to make an appointment for everything. And I already made an appointment to have the camera installed because you can see they got to tap into uh, this lights up here. And, you know, it's just a matter of hooking up one wire, I believe. It's not, a, it's not a backup camera, it's a camera camera, so I can see what's going on behind me. Because that's the biggest complaint that I have, is I can't see directly behind me. And especially if I'm going to be pulling a trailer, I want to I wanna be able to make sure that I'm pulling on a flat tire. You know, next, you know, usually the only way people know that there's something wrong behind them if they don't have a camera is they smell smoke. Yeah. So, uh, or people beep, 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 and they're pointing behind you. So, I, I don't want to be that guy. So, I want to have a, a camera installed. A Fusion, I think it is. I think it's a number five. Anyway, the number five Fusion sounds familiar. But, yeah, that's, that's what we want to have installed. And, like I said, I want to have them look at the uh, LP of the refrigerator. If they will, they may not. Because... I might have to make a separate appointment for that. You know how these times are today. Well, you know, you didn't tell us you wanted to do that. We had planned on just doing that. Well, you know, I kind of get it. I, I, I kind of do. But my hope is that we live in an area that, you know, they, they say, okay, we'll check it out for you because you're a good old boy. You live next door type of thing. It's worth it. Anyway... For those of you that don't know, we, we're Minnesota travelers. Minnesota is just phenomenal state and federal parks that you just can't even believe. They're just so beautiful. They're enormous and they're, I'm just looking forward to another camping season. And so here it is mid-May, it's not even fishing opener yet. And I hope that we can head out before fishing opener, but we'll we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Right now, I want to get a camera installed on this thing. I also built this, uh, custom fitted this box down here so that it would lock. I'm glad I did. I, I'm not going to link to the video. It's down there somewhere. It's if I had a million subscribers, I would put in the work. But yeah, yeah. anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get some diesel, extra diesel today. Because, Lord, you know the way times are. I want to I wanna store 15 gallons of diesel down here. Just in case an emergency arises and I need to get back home. And the gas stations aren't open. You know, I, I shouldn't even have to think about stuff like that. But these days, I think about stuff like that. And away we go! I'm excited, I'm very excited. You can see, she don't get excited about anything, ever. But she's... Inside excited. She's excited. She wants to adventure. And you know how I know that? Because she's going with me. Normally she wouldn't go with me to have maintenance done, but here she is. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Away we go! We're testing out the wipers. We need to test out the radio. Before ending our journey there we in go. New York City with an included Broadway musical. Alright, we're at Menards now. Menards, we're going to pick up uh, three more diesel cans because we want to put regular diesel in them. Like I said, the store here because the last thing we need, the last thing we need is to accidentally put red dye diesel in the camper. That could be expensive if you get caught and that's what's in all my other diesel cans. Red dye for my tractors.
The speakers are, someone's playing the fifth dimension. Hear it? Diesel cans are cheaper here than they are at Harbor Freight. Who would have ever thought that? Yeah, they're seventeen dollars a piece. They went up. No, there's a rebate. So you want to get two or three? Up to you. Yeah, we'll get the three yeah. just to be safe. They're in stock. So there's two left. We left two for somebody else. You gotta stop at the RV accessories when you're fooling with your RV for gimmick stuff. We have all this. We have all this. Oh, I gotta make sure that our ramps are still in there. It should be. We didn't take nothing out. Oh yeah. Well, no, that's, no, not, that's not it. Up, no, that's not it. We're looking for a a sewer cap with a string on it. It's what we need. Sewer cap with a string no, on. No, no, that's, that's not adapter. it. Yeah, probably have to get it at the camper place. Wait, what's this? What's that? Might be it. LV um, Sewer Cap. Yep. Five bucks. Yeah. Have a spare. Oh, it looks so good. Remember, though, can candy is poison. Sugar is poison. size. Ooh, coffee, butterscotch, gourmet. Looks like it's on sale. Ooh. Heck yeah. Start your day with a little adventure. Heck yeah. Even on sale though, that's expensive. have a new sewer cap. It's a lot tighter than the old one. Sweet. And here we are. What's the name of this place? In a hilltop. This is Hilltop in Baxter. I, I don't know. The garage doors are right here. I don't know where. We we dropped our camper off about an hour and a half or more. Wait, which is awesome because we get to look at stuff. Clay. These are a couple of camper vans here, and I don't even want to know the price. Probably a couple of hundred grand each. Road trek. And they're gas engines, I, I believe. Because there's no sprinter sign on them. Yeah, they're locked up. Oh, not this one. Ooh. That's all leather. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like, what the heck is hitting my shins? That little step comes out when you open the door on the passenger side. Look at this. Yeah, I'll see it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This, I promise you, I will never be able to afford something like this. <laughs> Nope. I don't even want to know the price. These are park models. It's not something you're obviously going to take with you on the road, but you see a lot of these around Minnesota. A lot of them. People buy a piece of property. 
and they park it hence that's why they're called park models I would guess it's like a tiny house actually it's uh, not so tiny it's actually pretty big a fireplace place for pre-wired for a big screen TV very nice it's got a upstairs big full bathroom with big full shower here master bedroom probably oh or maybe this is the master bedroom it's got the air conditioning unit up here yeah I could live in something like this full time in the summertime I'm not sure how they'd hold up in the winter time though with our harsh winter conditions here there no shortage of campers here in the Brainerd Lakes Baxter area that is for sure lots and lots and lots of campers this this is just one of a lot I don't know a dozen or more maybe even more than that uh, camper places and I don't count camper world if I didn't have what I have right now and I need I wanted to pull behind this is definitely something I would consider here very towable very comfortable This is uh, 30 grand. Now, everybody in America, everybody in the world probably has done this. They've dropped their vehicle off for repair or service, and they've just walked around, walked around the neighborhood, presumably if it's a safe neighborhood, which this is. They're just killing time because Americans can't sit in one place and watch the view. I think oh. that's pretty much what they put on every waiting room in America. I always find the remote change. Yeah, yeah, we change the channel. Going to get my I want to walk down to the holiday. There's always a holiday in walking distance somewhere. <laughs> always. They're here. And uh, get my free coffee. There's a common sight. You see where, where we live. Just water everywhere. Everywhere. It was uh, it was a two-hour wait. They charged us seven only seventy-seven dollars for labor for two hours, and they fixed the LP on the fridge. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. It looks good. It looks like it's mounted well, and I can look right here and see what's on uh, going on behind me now. So, yeah, let's go home. Yes, for now. So we got it loaded up, or I should say we're loading it up. 
It's a good feeling to know the uh, refrigerator works on AC and gas, LP. I got to put my bicycle and all my fishing gear. Just get ready to go. So that we can leave at a moment's notice. All we have to do is turn the key and go. So I, I don't know when that'll be, but hopefully soon. But it's nice to have a camera. And as far as I can tell, they did a really good job of hooking it up. And they didn't have to, they didn't remove any of the, the lights. They, they stuck it right between the lights. So that's kind of nice. Let's have a look in here real quick. Oh, Candy's got to be close by. There's her phone. Ah, oh, she's got her little... Apple adapter hooked up. That's still where this adapter here, we made a video about it, is where you can hook your HDMI cable into the back of your TV and watch your Netflix, Hulu, or anything you have from your phone, from your cell signal. So, yeah, we're loading her up. It's a great time to live in Minnesota. Talk to you later. The adventure, I would say continues, but it's kind of just starting. But for this year.